and we're living during an incredible day and age. I believe, without any question at all, that the grand challenges of our time will be solved. As humans, we run on hope. If you don't believe that the world is going to get better, there's no way you're going to work to change it. Stephen Kotler and I just wrote a book called Abundance. It's the realization that, in fact, the world is getting better at an accelerating rate. What we're really talking about is meeting the basic needs of every man, woman, and child on the planet over the next two to three decades. A dozen or so exponentially growing technologies are really transforming the world. AI, robotics, computers, network system, biotechnology, synthetic biology, human-machine interface, medicine. Abundance talks about four emerging forces. The so-called bottom billion, the poorest people in the world, are for the very first time emerging as a real market force. We also have a new techno-philanthropic class, entirely new breed of philanthropists. Empowered by exponential technologies, by this DIY ethic, this do-it-yourself ethic. You know, the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. And thus, we're living into a world of energy, water, education, health, abundance. This is not about luxury. This is not everybody gets to be rich. It's going to be a tremendous uphill battle. A great example of abundance in action is what's happened with mobile communications. And what we're seeing is this explosion in connectedness around the world. By the end of 2020, we're going to have over 5 billion people connected on the internet. 3, 4 billion people who are suddenly joining the global conversation for the very first time. That's a big deal. Every generation has thought they're the last generation that got the biggest problems, but each time we meet them. If the world isn't working together trying to raise basic standards of living, we're wasting our time. The conversation has been pretty doom and gloom for a long time. We want to change the conversation. The tools have become democratized. Small teams can solve the world's biggest problems, and you can be part of that. You have the brilliant idea. It's a matter of whether you have faith in it yourself to take it to the full conclusion.